Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm Lindsay and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25 point scale, 5 points on the nose, 10 on the palate, 5 on the finish, and 5 points combined for the bottle and color of the juice. Now on to the review. I'm so excited. Just kind of created a little bourbon cave. Kind of, sort of. Our little nook over here in our room. Get a little bit of, a little bitter, a little bitter. A little bitter. Been drinking? Yes. <laughs> All right, this is our new bourbon cave. I just kind of threw it together. A um, little better audio. Uh, less cats. Just the one good one. Um, all right, today you gave me something. It looks kind of light. So this is another one, um, John and I are infamous, I leave it when I go to bed at night because, you know, we both work restaurant and he works second and I work first. So I gave him this one and he was kind of stumped by it. I was reading his notes this morning and I was I like, wow. I have a wow. guess. I have a couple guesses. So I was impressed, but what you getting on the nose? It's fruity right away. Like bright, golden, delicious apples. Oh, oh. Dang. Very specific. Mm-hmm. A little vanilla, a little cinnamon, and a little clove, actually. Brought new yeah, horizons. I don't know. It, it just reminds me of clove. Okie doke. A little strawberry, too. It's kind of like a a bready strawberry, so like a strawberry shortcake okay. is what it reminds me All of. Right. And what that shortbread is, like a little yeasty and a little buttery. It reminds me a lot of Elmer T. Lee, just kind of toned down a little bit. It's not so, so good. Unfortunately, we don't have any of that in the house no, right now. No, we do not. <laughs> I know it's not that. I get some sweet corn. You know, like when you shuck it and you're cooking it, it's buttery mm. without even being buttered. And Can't I wait for summer. summer. <laughs> Maybe we can find some good corn when we go down to Florida. Grandma yeah. knows all the good spots. The um, longer it opens up, you get a little bit of caramel. And there's a little floral in there, too. Um, but I don't get any alcohol. It has to be a lower proof. That's nice. So I gave it a four and a half out of five. It's good. I like it. Okay. Now, the taste is very, very soft. Um, it is good. But it's not really my my type of thing. I think you said that when we first got this. It's actually. definitely low proof. Uh, a little oak, a lot of apple and vanilla, slight cinnamon. A little bitter in the back, but it's very, very simple. And if you want to use smooth for a whiskey... That's it. You'd use it for this one. But okay. I'd say very soft. A little sweet. Maybe a little bit of a rye peppery spice in the back. Okay. Like very little. Just enough to let you know it's in there. But I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's good, but it's a little too simple for me to love it. Okay. But it is good. Um, the finish is short. It's a little maybe medium. Um, the mouthfeel... It's kind of silky, but a little thin. No hug at all. A little bitter and fade and char fades in the back to that apple and vanilla. It opens up even more. It's got some really nice legs. So I gave it a three and a half out of five. I wish it was a little longer. And the look is a, like a very vibrant gold. There you go with that. It's, it's a little too light to be what I like. Um, many legs, but fast moving yeah they're kind of there and go so it looks a little thin but there is a lot of them but they move fast so i gave it a two out of two and a half okie doke yeah mm -hmm. so my guess was 80 to 90 proof i don't think it was near i lean toward the 80 on this one okay but if it is 90 my guesses were in the 90s because i can't think of what it would be do you I think had, that it's American, Canadian, or Irish? I mean, both my guesses were 
bourbon, so. Okay. I had Buffalo Trace Store Pick or Eagle Rare, which are both 90 proof. Um, I feel like it's definitely a Buffalo Trace product, though. It just has that feel to it. Which is sweetness. funny to me because I can never give him Eagle Rare ever again. Because literally, I will, like, I don't even get to him. I'll be walking through the house and be like, it's Eagle Rare. I swear. No. He can smell it. Well, it's not Buffalo Trace or Eagle Rare. Okay. It is a single barrel. All right. So this is owned by Sazerac. It is a Canadian. Which is odd because I usually get a certain taste on Canadian. Mm -hmm. I did not get it on this one. Okay. First Canadian, I did not get that multi young type yeah. feel. This I don't know what the uh, it's it eighty an, proof. It is an eighty proof. Um, you want to read it? So this is Caribou Crossing. John bought me this. Um, I really loved the bottle, and I really wanted to try it because I am a big fan of Canadian. It comes in a <laughs> box and a bag, just like Bland's. Yep. Kind of looks like a Rock Hill Farms. They call yeah. it the Blantons of the North. Yeah, I disagree with that. But I... D mm, mm, mm. Okay, so their little story on the back says that Caribou Crossing Single bar Barrel is painstakingly handcrafted by our expert whiskey-making team who have personally selected the finest whiskey available. The result is a Canadian whiskey unequaled by any other. Patiently aged, smooth, and exceptionally flavored, Caribou Crossing is available in limited quantities at select stores. All right. So being from Sazerac, I don't know if there's going to be much information on it, but let's take a break and see if we can find anything. Okay. I found a little bit of info, but not as lot. per usual <laughs> with Buffalo Trace related stuff, you're not going to find age and net mash bill. So this retails for around $50. Um, I think we bought this one for $50. Um, that's just kind of the standard for it. So, Buffalo Trace's Master Distiller, Drew Mayville, hand-selects these bottles. Not Master Distiller. Master sorry, Blender. Master Blender. Um, Drew Mayville hand-selects these bottles, and there's over 200,000 barrels. So, he goes in there, and he selects them, and then they bottle it. Um, they ship it down to Buffalo Trace to be bottled. Yep. So, it's So, it's from, bottled here and mainly sold in the U.S. too. So, it's Old Montreal Distilling. Um, they lay claim to distributing the first single barrel Canadian whiskey. Um, so they are the ones who dis like they distill it and have it. And then Sazerac owns them. Sazerac owns them though. Buffalo Trace handles it all. And then Buffalo Trace bottles. Which is kind of why it. it's here in the U.S. and not really in Canada. Right. Good old Sazerac. So it's interesting. <laughs> I just wish it was a little higher proof. It yeah. is a good whiskey, but it's higher. a lot darker looking in the bottle than it is in the glass, though. I think that's just like the reflective in the table oh. and everything. I don't know. It looks pretty nice. But. Beautiful bottle. I am going to give the bottle a 2.25. It's just, it's pretty. It is a nice bottle. Nice cork. Nice topper. It's got that mousse. Caribou. Oh. Caribou. Anyway, Elk, whatever you want to call it. Reindeer? Bear. Bear. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little, a little off base here. Okay, so what does so, that bring your total up to? That brings me to a 77. Total? Yes. How do you feel about that? Okay, that's probably the highest I've rated a Canadian so far. I think so. I am wondering how like Pendleton rates, because I like that. But I am liking Canadian a lot more. Thanks. This one tastes a lot like sweet corn, so that's got to be in the mash bill. Somewhere. And Canadian, they never know. they distill each. And so if this is like, a, am guessing corn, barley, and rye, they will distill corn, they will distill barley, they will distill rye, oh, yeah, and then you were blend telling them me together. About that. They blend everything. That's what's unique about Canadian. I like it. Yeah, it's different. gives it a lot of different notes, but I think that's fair. That's I a think good assessment. Canadian for might be one of the next big trends, and I think this one will lead the way. I agree. There you have it. There you have it.
So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.